Hello, 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 and welcome. All right, this is the first time you can hear my voice. Wind. It's still winter in Poland. This is my 1997 Fiat Cinquecento. Originally 700cc, right now under this little bonnet is 900 mighty cc engine from Fiat. I built this car for over a year. Find, uh, first of all, the car was blue, right now it's super bright white because I, I wish to build a trophy uh, concept, like a replica or something. I'm really close. I'm bloody close to finish the project. Okay, sorry, it's quite dirty because I finished the rally recently. I still don't manage to clean them properly away and the car stays outside for a few days. So yeah, it's pretty, pretty dirty right now. So over here, let's say, uh, let's start from the beginning. What we have here? Under this little bonnet, okay, oh, my dad says it's rusty. Yeah, that's pretty much rusty right now. Let's put them up. Yep, there you go. Mighty, really mighty, 900cc nugget. Uh, only one change is the ECU. For the sport one, I put the poly bushes everywhere how it's possible. I have the oil catch can. I removed the, uh, the heater fan. So yeah, let's put them on the stand. There you go. So over here, we have the emergency switch. So it's cutting off the power. I can change the lights from, from headlights because they are bloody gone. <laughs> For ages over here we have winter tires with the 13 inch alloys put the nice mud flaps uh, this, this is just aesthetic purpose it's not like working purpose because it's still attached to the to the plastic over here over here we have lifts for the uh, for the jacks for the jack stands I want to use them in rally I still try to build one so let's start from the back. <laughs> the original 1993 sticker. Inside the end, there you go. That's the, that's the original color for the car. Over here we have the spare wheel, but with straps. This is the special for rally. Nothing can be moved inside the car. Over here I have the battery with a, a special breather. To go outside, this is the power line minus over there. We have the plus line and something new for, for <laughs> maybe some be like, What the heck is that? This is the brake lights for the rail, brake strut for the end, and of course, the massive roll cage. Uh, the roll cage is original roll cage for, for the car for 1997 Trofeo car from the Kausa Motorsport. So I just put them this way. Yep, there you go. I bought this roll cage in Krakow. It was <laughs> shit miles for me. Uh, for 600 zloty, it was around 120 pounds. So yeah, original the roll cage was white. If you see the last videos, you can see I repaint them for black one. I put the nice covers. Guess I need, rem I need rem remove as much as possible weight. So like you see, no, no floor, no top, nothing. It's completely bare bone. Even bumpers are lightweight windows are from the plastic this is the glass and the glass one from the inside it's still not the best but it's pretty decent I have two bucket seats uh, no name two Chinese uh, racing four points harnesses uh, this is the fuel lines on this side on the opposite side we have the uh, brake fluids and this is the connector to the gouge for the fuel of course the emergency uh, kill switch uh, rpm gauge or rev counter so five speed manual gearbox original no no shorter no longer just original 900 cc gearbox the engine is coming from the 2000 fiat seicento is the single point injector 
engine. Uh, I put the, uh, I rebuilt the whole engine. Only what changed is the bloody piston rings and the bearings on the crankshaft and the bearings on the on the pistons on the on the rods, not not piston rods. Yeah. So that's all the changes, and I put the really light flywheel uh, from 6.5 kilograms to 4.2 kilograms. Uh, of course, I have the. Uh, Racing steering wheel. If you see the roll cage, it's coming over here. X and the band over here. So the next modification, uh, if you see, I just cut the um, dashboard. I put the massive bar. This is the ultra strut brace for for the car. Supposed to be the mounting for the heater over here. I just removed the heater. I just left the bar, and on the end, I have the uh, fuse box. Yeah, really windy. Let's go this side. Yeah, like you see, this is the fuse box. Originally, the fuse box was somewhere around here in the Seicento OBD port. There are two bare wires over there. This is the uh, cigarette lighting. I still don't manage to make it, so I don't care about that. And no more floor pan. It's pretty uh, dirty right now because uh, I drive this car in the rally in the really bad conditions on the mud so yeah <laughs> it's pretty 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 bad inside the steering wheel is some Chinese knockoff of uh, some racing wheel it's like kind of leather I don't know it's pretty shitty I need to replace this stuff for more stronger one more genuine one let's say this way um, this bracket um, uh, my dad made this bracket for me uh, because original bracket if I want to buy a bracket like that in Poland the guy asked for, I think it's 100 quid, so it's like 20 pounds in UK. Um, but to make this bracket, uh, it's cost me like 20 pounds, 20 is what it was, like five, five, five pounds. Of course, I have the racing uh, seats with the racing uh, ball um, stands or whatever it's called. Uh, Basically, mounts, but there is uh, six mounts. Massive, I put the massive, massive one because I'm pretty tall. I'm six uh, two, so I need to be really far away from the uh, from the pedals. And uh, if you see, I have not a lot gap over here between the roll cage and the seat. Well, I sit down. I'm 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 literally touching almost this bar over here. If I sit down, I'm literally almost touching this bar. So yeah, basically. The biggest changes is the engine itself, the 900cc instead of 700cc. 700cc was like 20-ish horsepower, this is like 40 in stock, probably right now with the modification hmm, 40, maybe 50 horsepower, originally it's 39, say 40, maybe 45, not, not a lot, but because the car weights generally 630 kilograms over here because I reduce a lot of the of the components probably the car weights around 400 maybe 500 450 550 -ish, uh, kilograms is pretty light uh, including the wheels was damn light the bloody lights on the front we have the uh, 13 inches like I said before original calipers only what change is the uh, rotors for ventilated and the uh, sliced rotors uh, Mikoda GT, including the parts. Uh, that cost like 40 quid, but it's pretty, pretty cheap. Over here you can see the bloody uh, floor pan. It's like a brace, uh, brace pan to protect the engine and the gearbox. Maybe I'll show you from this side. If I can. I can yeah, maybe you can see that. Yeah. Visible, probably massive support from the bar from the uh, to protect the engine. Over here, we have the poly bushes uh, on the whole car. We have the yellow poly bushes, the hardest as possible. The car uh, is really stiff. If I try to move it, it's, it's not moving at all, it's so so stiff. So, uh, especially for the Racing, if I be racing on the on the um, tarmac or like on the brick, the um, car will will really handle well. So yeah, uh, on the front and the back, the suspension 
we have the Blistein B6 on the soft, uh, no, not really soft, on the, uh, it's like a, it's not thick, it's really slim uh, uh, shock. On the back we have the B6s itself, the springs is, um, we have the Einbach Pro Kit, the red one, I don't know if you can see this stuff, maybe. Uh, why this setup? Because uh, it was cheap. I pay 700, uh, 1,700 water, um, three grand, so it's 400, something like 350 pounds. It was pretty, pretty cheap for the whole setup. On the back we have the original, uh, just stock brakes with the normal drum brakes. No, nothing special, just normal, repainted, refurbished. There you go. On the exhaust, I have I changed the exhaust completely. It's my my design exhaust. What I have here is original exhaust was pretty pretty small and was really restrictive compared to this one. Uh, from the beginning, we have the uh, original manifolds, but then I changed them straight to the 42 cent uh, millimeters pipe, straight pipe, going straight from the beginning of the car to the end of the car. And over here, we have only uh, this is the Struminica, uh, I don't know how this is pronounced on, in English, whatever, and the cut from the 700cc. Just straight back. So car, this sounds amazing on this setup. Just give me a second, I'll start it for you. Best part of the car. <laughs> When you when you just stays on the, on the road, but when you rip off, it's bloody loud. So that, that's the setup I have. If you have any questions, just ask me on the comments below, and see you next time.